What if Earth, our home, our sanctuary, could express her feelings? Imagine for a moment her voice echoing through the grandeur of the mountains, whispering through the rustling leaves, humming in the rhythm of the ocean waves, and reflecting in the azure expanse of the sky. She is alive, her spirit intertwined with the wind, her skin warmed by the sun's tender kiss, her veins pulsating with the life blood of rivers, her eyes mirroring the infinite blue above. She smiles through the laughter of waterfalls, her anger flares in the heart of volcanoes, her sighs are heard in the rumbling thunder, her fleeting amusement, a dance of lightning across the sky. With delicate tenderness, she nurtures life, from the smallest flower to the mighty creatures of the forest, the spectacle of biodiversity, its vastness, its wonder, each strand a mystery, question left unanswered. Yet, she bears the scars of our negligence, Forests dwindle, oceans groan with distress, her once pure breath now tainted with pollution, her vibrant colors masked by the grays of deceit. Despite this, she hopes, in the soft glow of sunrise, in the courage of each sprout breaking through the earth, a promise hums, a promise of renewal, of her ability to heal herself. So walk with her, through the green meadows, the golden grain fields, breathe in her fragrance, experience her rhythm, let her love blossom in your heart, become a protector of this Mother Earth, because she is our powerful, compassionate mother, and we, her children, are intertwined with the thread of nature. To heal her wounds, to right the wrongs we've done, and to love her deeply, until the world understands. And so, we are left with a thought-provoking question. Are we ready to listen to the voice of the Earth, to understand her pain, and to take action to protect her? Because our relationship with Earth is not just about our survival, it's about coexisting in harmony, respecting her bounties, and understanding our duty to protect her for the generations to come. Remember, Earth doesn't need us, we need the Earth. And it's high time we started treating her with the love and respect she deserves. After all, we only have one home, let's make sure it lasts.